Hi guys, it's Christy951. Well, today I'm going to be doing a review on some makeup that I've recently purchased and give you my opinion, and also some suave hair products. I'm going to get started right away with Rimmel. I purchased three of their foundations, and they are the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And I purchased the 100, which is Ivory. The 103, which is True Ivy, Ivory, sorry, <laughs> and then 200 Soft Beige. See that? And I also purchased their Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the primer. I actually really like the primer, and the reason why I have three foundations is because it's been difficult to actually find my color. Um, if you look at the outside of the package, you can't really tell a difference. You see that? All three of these colors look almost identical. So I'm not sure if maybe the packaging on the outside is colored or something, but. Uh, Ivory was definitely too light for me. And then today I purchased the, um, oh, I'm, I'm wearing True Ivory, the second color. And then um, I purchased today Soft Beige, which I am going to try tomorrow. I purchased these at Walmart for, I think, $6.47. And I really liked, even though this one was too light when I first purchased this, it was um, definitely too light for my skin. But I like the way it lasted and I put it right over the foundation primer and it describes it as naturally flawless hydrating and lightweight feel. It definitely is that and it definitely lasts all day. Um, I am I have larger pores and it definitely smooths them out nicely, give me a nice full coverage. Um, I put up recommend these. They're very cheap and I'm, so that's why I went and tried to find my color. And not only that, I do makeup on other people so hey, why not um, try these out for others. And I learned about this one from another gal that I watched. Her name is Emily and she said these are great for brides. So I'm like, well then I'm going to give it a try to see if I like it. So that's what I did. So I absolutely recommend Remmel London's Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. It's a really great foundation. Only $6.50. It's such a great deal. Next, moving on, I purchased a Pilato eyeliner. This is a liquid liner. This is black, and I'm actually wearing it. I've always had a little bit of trouble putting on liquid liner, generally due to um, the brush or the lack thereof, generally speaking. You see that tip? It's actually quite easy to apply. Um, but when you can see, I, I can see better out of one eye versus the other. So one eye always looks perfect, and the other eye I'm always having to work extra hard on. But um, I really like this. This one was also recommended to me by another guru on YouTube. And actually quite a few people use this one. So I would give that a try. I bought it at Sally's for, I believe it's $5.99. Very, very nice liquid liner if you are in need of one. Moving on, let's go a little bit cheaper to ELF. Now this is to give yourself a, this is a dollar. I bought it at Target. This is to give yourself a very dewy look, which I guess is really in shimmer and dewy. Can you see that? So after I put my foundation, what I'll do is take a small drop and then I'll pat it on up in this area where you want a little more shine and dewiness. You don't want to put it on your forehead, especially if you have oily or combination skin. You definitely don't want to put it up there. So I usually put it right here on the upper part of my cheekbone and then, uh, I, then I will put my powder over that. A dollar. I wanted to try it and I actually really like it. It says you can put it on your lips too, so if you wanted to have, you know, like sparkling lips, 
feel free to do that. So it is called Elf Shimmering Facial Whip for a buck. See that? Little tube. This tube will last forever. Moving on. Next, I bought this at Target um, for five, just under five dollars. I think it was four ninety nine. NYC uh, Individual Eyes. Can you see that? I'm gonna open it up. This was recommended for blue eyes, and that's what I have. Okay, so over here, on this side, uh, over here, right here, this is an eye primer. It's basically, I know that looks a little white, but it is the color of light skin. And you put that on your eyelid before you put on the makeup in order for it to stay longer. Now I tried it a couple of times where I just put this on and then I put the eyeshadow. It definitely creased by within a couple of hours. But then I tried it the next day where I put this on all over my eyelid and up here. And then I put my powder, you know, facial powder, which is what I normally do to set it. Then I did my makeup, stayed wonderfully. It did not crease at all. So definitely uh, a plus there. And then this one right here is called a highlighter, and that is basically what the other e.l.f. thing is. It's white and shimmery, and something that you would tap up in your upper cheekbone, any place that you want highlighted. So, and it's um, a creamy texture, so I would definitely wear that up here. And I'm going to swatch these colors for you real quick here. This one is gold. Can you see that? And then we've got more of a brown or taupe, I would say. And this one is really nice. It's a dark golden brown. filming and it's not as light in here so it's a little more difficult to actually see the colors. That's better. So this one right here would be your highlighter, that ring finger. And then this one right here in my middle finger would be more like your lid color. And then this one down here would be your crease color. And this one up here could be the outer edges and your eyeliner. That's basically what it Tells you to do on the back of it. See that? It'll tell you. And it came with a little plastic cover too that showed number one, two, three, and four and what it's for. Um, I did it exactly according to what it said. Personally, I didn't think it, these colors looked really great together, but um, I like the colors individually and I would probably use maybe a couple of them together versus all of them. Um, but I, you know, for under five dollars, it comes with a great primer and a highlighter and four colors. I, I would definitely recommend it. I am, I will try another color palette to see if I like that one better, and um, go from there. Next, moving on. I am moving on to some hair products. Now I heard about these products from Emily over, and I, I will put that as, um, on my notes as to uh, linking her to her, linking you to her YouTube account. She said that she tried this Suave Professional Volumizing Mousse, and it says to volumize as well as Matrix. Now, I've been using Professional Matrix products for quite some time. Adds fullness throughout the hair. You see that? Volumizing. You see how it says right there? This is, this is in purple. Adds fullness throughout the hair. So that's the mousse. And then I bought this Volumizing Root Boost which they say is as good as Matrix as well. And I tried it today. I actually do like them. They were $2.74 a piece. How does that happen? $2.74 a piece. So I thought that that was a great deal. I bought these at Walmart. And if you're on a budget, give them a try. 
$2.74 a piece. Root Boost and Mousse. I use approximately a tennis ball size for my hair, and it's about this long here. So that's a pretty good size right there. This little spray is just a little spray. You definitely want to part the hair and spray it directly on the part. And I did it here and here in the center and here and here and then back in through here. Because this is mainly where you want your volume is in through there. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised that I actually like the product. I've been using expensive stuff on my hair um, for all of my adult life. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So if you're on a budget or not, give it a try. It's, it's a great product. All right, well, that's what I have for you today. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that I reviewed today, I would love to hear it. So I hope you have a great evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.